After four years, charges against a Hillsborough County woman who shot and killed her husband have been dropped. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. The state attorney's office is dropping the charges against Sabrina Henley, saying that she was defending herself. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino spoke with Henley today, and she is joining us live from the state attorney's office with the latest on this. What can you tell us? Well, hey, good evening. As you can imagine, she is going through so many emotions. She's relieved she's not going to spend her life behind bars, but she also says she wishes this had never happened. And then the four years after this, she says, have been terrible. I ultimately felt like we were all about to die. Despite that, for the past four years, Sabrina Hendley has faced the possibility of spending her life behind bars. It's not something and it's something I relive every second of every day. She was charged with murder after shooting and killing her husband in 2018. Hendley and domestic violence advocates have maintained that years of abuse caused her to act in self-defense. I most definitely thought I was going to die. Um, I, I would never have in my entire life defended myself for no reason. Now, years later, the Hillsborough County State Attorney's Office is dismissing the case after extensive review. State Attorney Andrew Warren saying in a statement, quote, we go where the evidence and law take us. And had we known then what we now know about the serious domestic violence Miss Hendley had suffered at her husband's hands, she never would have been charged in the first place as she had a legitimate claim of self-defense. This was clearly a case of severe, violent, domestic violence. Julie Weintraub is the founder of Hands Across the Bay, an organization that fights for victims of domestic violence like Hendley. She hopes this will change how domestic violence cases are handled. Unfortunately here, if we didn't intervene uh, the way that we did, this woman would have spent her life in prison. And that is frightening to me. As for Henley, she is overwhelmed with emotions as she now works to get her life back. I lost my kids. Um, the, the state took them away. I was deemed like an unfit parent. I'm s still a little overwhelmed by everything because um, while this is something I, I wish I never had happen, I'm really glad that I'm, I'm getting my life back. Now, the state attorney's office says they did an extensive review of the case, including going over all the evidence, interviewing witnesses again, going through plenty of testimony from witnesses, and also talking to domestic violence experts. Keith? Melissa Marino live in Tampa for us.